A blueprint in Zoho CRM is designed to help you execute a business process in a well-defined, systematic manner that is free from loopholes. With a blueprint, you can define every stage in a process and associate people with each stage. Guide your teams through the execution of the process. Mandate and validate important information contextually. Automate routine actions. In simpler words, it is an online replica of your offline process. Consider a scenario. Zilker Inc., a software development company, follows a simple deal follow-up process. Whenever they have a deal in CRM, it goes through a few stages, qualification, negotiation, discount approval, contract, and deal closure. Let's see how to design a blueprint for Zilker's deal follow-up process. The first thing is to navigate to the setup page and click Blueprint. When you click to create a new blueprint, the system pops up a window where you need to enter a name for the blueprint. In our case, let's call it a deal follow-up process. Then choose the module, layout, and the field for the blueprint. In this case, let's select the deals module, standard layout, and stage field. If you want this process to be executed only on specific records, you can define the appropriate blueprint entry criteria. For example, this blueprint is applicable only for big deals, that is, deals whose amount is more than $50,000. Click Next and you will be in the Blueprint Editor. Here are a few points to remember before you begin creating a blueprint. A blueprint is created using states and transitions, State refers to each stage in your process. In this example, qualification, negotiation, contract sent are the different states in the blueprint. Transition defines the conditions to be met in order to move from one state to another. It forms a link between two states. Drag and drop the available states into the blueprint editor. As mentioned earlier, in Zilker Inc., deals pass through various stages such as qualification, negotiation, discount rejected, or approved, contract sent, and deal won, or lost. Now, connect the nodes between the states to define the process flow. And these small plus buttons, these are the transitions we mentioned earlier. Transitions help you to define the conditions for the records to move from one state to another. For example, as per Zilker's policy, a sales rep has to associate a note about a customer's requirements before they qualify a deal. So, right before the qualified stage, you create a transition called Qualify. Add a description and save. This gets displayed as a button on the respective deal's details page. Now, let's navigate back to the Blueprint Editor. Go ahead and add transitions in a similar manner throughout the process. Once this is done, you must define the transition settings. Each transition is divided into three sections, before, during, and after transition. Let's look at defining transition settings for the Negotiate button. First, we have the Before Transition section. This defines who is responsible for executing this transition. Let's say you choose Record Owner. Criteria defines which records this transition is applicable for. Next, you have the During section. Here, you specify the conditions to be met in order for the transition to take place. Let's say, as per Zilker's policy, product discount cannot be greater than 25%. So, you make the discount field mandatory and enter validation criteria for this field. Discount should be less than or equal to 25%. Then specify an error message. Sorry, discount cannot be greater than 25% if this criteria is not met. You can add additional mandatory fields as required. You can also add instructions to the sales rep in the form of messages and make notes mandatory. In the After section, you can specify actions to be automated, like email alert, field update, or custom functions. Let's say, after the sales rep enters the discount during the negotiation, an email alert needs to be triggered to the sales manager who has to approve the discount. So, click Email Alert, choose a suitable email template, and associate the action. 
In a similar manner, define the settings for all the transitions in the process. The deal process blueprint for Zilker Inc. is ready. Save. Now, here's something else. If you look at the completed process, we have the deal lost transition here. This is typically seen only after the contract sent stage, but in reality, a deal can be lost at any stage. For instance, a customer may not be interested at the qualification stage itself. You should be able to drop the deal by clicking Deal Lost at this point. This is where you can make deal loss a common transition. Once you opt this, it gets linked to all the states, which means this button will be available in all stages of the deal process. By default, all stages are selected. If you uncheck a few states, the button will not be available in those stages of the process. Save the process. Let's select the blueprint for Zilker's deal follow-up process. Now, let's see the blueprint in action. Navigate to the deals module. This is a deal worth $54,000, so this deal should go through the blueprint process. You can see the state and the transitions in the blueprint strip. On clicking each button, you can progress to the subsequent stages. You will also notice in the Record Details section that the Stage field is locked. The record cannot move to the next stage unless the defined process in the blueprint is met. Click Qualify and enter the details to save. Now, click Negotiate. You are prompted to enter notes and add the discount and closing date as mandated in the transition settings. Say you enter a discount of 40% you see the error message. Now, say you enter 20%, and you are prompted to go to the next stage. Here, we also see that the email has been automated to the sales manager, who has to approve the discount. In a similar manner, you can execute every transition to complete the process. And that's about it. Start designing your very own blueprint right away.